Um, apart from that, the Grok uh, looks really good for Fnatic. Minotaur as well um, looks really good. And if, uh, Franco also looks good for Fnatic, just so that they can counter the Ling. Honestly, I do like the Minotaur, like, have a teamfight comp that doesn't need the fan. Yeah. How good would it be if it was a Cho here? Cho, like, yeah. Uh, Cho is the... pretty good too. Alright, they go for the oh, Grok, that's a safer okay. choice. You go for instant initiation. You can kind of cancel the Tigreal as well with the yeah. Power of Nature and then straight into the Wild Charge. So Nana. a lot of different ways to counter this composition with the Grok, but final pick. Zaskor Nana for me. I know it's crazy. They might just settle for a Vex so that, you know, you have a... Or an Angela. Or an Angela. Angela, yeah. Instead of the reach for the Beatrix. Um, that sounds boring. Let's, you know... Spice it up a bit. Spice you know? it up a bit. They go Aurora. for Aurora. Aurora. All right, all right. Spicy you know, enough. Spicy, spicy enough. enough, but she's technically not spicy. She's yeah. cold. cold. She's yeah. ice. She's ice cold, bro. Yeah. Okay, so... I hope they're the team that picks up the old dead. But then, this Aurora pickup... As well as the Grok, kind of really gives you that go signal to just go back for the Vex. Vex, Angela. And like I said, the Odette. I feel right. like the Angela's problem is that you don't have enough Lunox. damage. They Ooh. go for the Lunox. Yeah, okay, this is the least that I would think of because usually when you go for the Lunox, there has to be a vehicle somewhere along yeah. the lines of a chip or maybe a Matilda so that you can initiate. Lunox is very slow against some mage you want to see on good night mm -hmm. good night is uh, an anchor and a core for team falcons in any of their iterations and now they're going to need to get him online oh look at this an early fight okay they're going to be pushing keyboy as quickly as possible but Kyrie gets in the middle of the mix good night forced to flicker away this is what we're talking about right this is this is how dangerous it is in these early stages of the game anybody could go down and could start the snowball and up top, you see the 1v1 between Ding and Lutpi, both bruisers, both CC specialists, especially when it comes down to these bigger team fights. And wow, check this out. Sans, I don't think you could do that with a, maybe with a Valentina, but you couldn't do that with a Vexana. Oh, Not at that sure. range. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I, I think that, like, Aurora is very similar in this position to the Lunox, right? With that Pride of Ice passive, being able to like tank, well, well, tank a good amount of damage, but at the same time, have an option of maybe escaping when you're getting doved on by Kenji, for an example. I think there might be some ways that Fnatic Honor can get really creative with the way they play this comp. Yep, checking out the uh, opening builds here. I, I think this is Ding now, understanding the dynamic between who's the beatdown. He builds an early Dreadnought armor. Oh, yep. super. He's gone here. That's going to be first blood instantaneously. Kyrie finds it. Just wrong place, wrong time, right? There's nothing much you can really say about that. They're trying to open up the map, but as soon as they saw it, Super, he already missed out on his flicker. Can't do much about it. And he was in too deep. Mm -hmm. There wasn't really anywhere for him to go. And there were other members of Fnatic Onik uh, in the vicinity. So that opens up this first turtle of the game. No one making moves quite yet. Uh, you'll see here, it's uh, Super who uh, goes ahead and checks in, and so far... Nah, I don't Luffy. think they're gonna fight. Yeah, just wailing away. I personally don't think they want to fight here. I think that Team Falcon's like, Good Night is about to hit level four, but at the same time, Fnatic Onic, right? You can see that Kyrie, he's ready to jump in. Oh, here he comes, Luffy with penalty zone onto Ding straight away. Good fridge breath from Sans, instantly securing that kill, but Kyrie, oh wait, oh. the entire backline ends up dying. Kenji getting hit by the wild charge from Keyboy because of a flicker play. Really nicely done. You blink, you miss it, and the next to fall super. That's a double for Sans. It was a zero frame wild charge. Again, you don't even have to blink. It really just happened in an instant. And next thing you know, your hero can't even move. Now down bottom, looks like Lark and Goodnight looking for a revenge kill on the CW while they can, while they can. Mm. Since he's not built up quite yet, you're looking at a three-minute game. Four to zero already with Fnatic Onyx, 2,000 gold ahead. That's what's allowing Keyboy here to bother they're or oh look at that he made the orange buff make a lap man gosh in this past the two minutes so he's allowed to do it he's like yes the one thing the one thing that i've been enjoying just messing with junglers ruining their days oh and super is trying to repair that like i need to hold this down for kenji and you're looking at a ling man it's not like they changed anything in ling's dynamics like that's still an assassin that's still a hero that needs a lot of build up now keyboy in trouble while charge out instantly out oh but he gets pulled back in by the final slash though sans does drop down the alt as well okay so now super all by himself has to flicker away has no escape mechanics and Kyrie picks him off for free frigid glacier enough to find that trap, the counter engage. 
And still, Team Falcons left high and dry. Nothing to their name. 5-0. and oh. This lead is growing, man. We're looking at almost 3,000 ahead for the Indonesian four-time champion squad, the defending MSC champions. Let's look at what the items look like as of now. Chewe rocking that uh, Starlium Scythe already. That just needs to get updated real quick. And as well, you see uh, Blade of Hepatases on the Kairi. Mm -hmm. And so far, the resources are coming out of Team Falcons, Kenji, Super, and even Lark, all using valuable resources. And Fnatic, honestly, don't have to do too much. Their presence alone is so lethal. And here you'll see, just now, Lutpi built up to a War Axe. And again, you're playing on two different axes of who's offensive and who's defensive. And Fnatic Onik are just always on the right side of that argument, always on the right side of that coin. And now check this out. Oh, look at the show of dominance from Kyrie pushing Kenji out of his own jungle. Mm -hmm. Oh, down on the bot side, CW finds the kill onto Super. They might want to go a little bit more here. And CW, he's down for it. He's got the help of Key Boy. He just needs to bide some time. But now Kenji might be the next to fall here. Lufty, he doesn't mind. Oh, dodge the damage. He still has oh. penalty zones to secure it. Hey, Lark, wait. He finds the trade on to CW. All right. Maybe bottom is where Falcons find oh, do it. Through. Redemption, but not gonna happen. All right. Amazing work. Again, Lutpi. Say what you will about him coming in to repair a tough situation for Fnatic Onik about two or three months ago. But now here he is, a mechanical beast. A flicker cancel. Penalty zone, it's amazing! Mm -hmm. Yep, Lupti has been building up so much confidence from the regular season to the playoffs to winning their own individual uh, regions league to now coming to an international and really showing off why they were put on the map in the first place. Here comes the dive. We see, oh, Lark forced to flick out straight away. Kyrie has so much damage. It's not even close right now. I don't blame Lark trying to find a way to retreat there he was Ooh. trying to get some damage and now key boy gets a kill on him good night in trouble force to use the brilliance he gets out of there okay but oh they fight all three the final slash as well <laughs> this is the play that they've been looking for ding five Kyrie cw does get genji to stop the initial push but they've traded equally here two for two in that engagement what a great play coming in for team falcons and they're not done just yet lock trying to cut down Lupti as much as he can Lupti, he's trying to tank through the damage can he find it no goes down to the bench of ding i'm done with his lane he still finds a trade though the body of smith able to keep him alive plus the spell vamp just enough to make it worth fanatic onyx time i gotta say cw's mid-game power spike here at seven minutes i think that's what made it a little better for fanatic onyx despite the amazing catch by ding that could have been lethal that could if ever it was a switcher if it was cw on the beatrix and lark on the harith that could have been a wipeout yeah man ah oh, the replay didn't catch the initial uh the initial play started by super he was trying yep. to replicate a game winning moment from m5 when keyboy did it himself the five man implosion he was so close to it but unfortunately, like, if Kenji just survived a little bit longer, I think he could have cleaned up the entire team. But now the mid lane, oh, Keyboy, he does find luck. He can't get out of there in time. The frigid Frost already locking down the tower, but it doesn't really matter anymore. So many members are already dead. And even Kenji, he doesn't want to go in there anymore. He's like, that's too much, too much to handle. It was a dispersal of Team Falcons. Like, one kill led to another, led to another, and it scrambled their formation. There's very little left on the map for Team Falcons to scrunch up. And need I remind you, they're playing with a Ling. It's tough to play from this defensive position. I mean, best case scenario, they start splitting the map. They, they send Kenji down into the bottom lane, mm -hmm. but Kyrie's just as quick, just as agile a hero. So they're gonna be playing tag. I mean, at this point, whoa, okay. All right, I guess they really wanted the buff on that one. Oh, wait, hold on, the fridge of breath. Oh, into the glaciers. Well, they fight too. They quickly get out of their iframes. Okay, boy, making sure that good knight isn't having a good time. Gets pushed underneath the tower. Can somebody dive them already? As we see the Tempest Blades already come out. Man after man being thrown. Fnatic Onyx say no more sacrifices. We've done what we can. We're sorry, kid boy. We can only get good night. Ceasefire underneath the tier two. And the inhibitor. Oh, and he's gonna 
Oh, Sans gets a kill, and another body dropped up top. Man. Fnatic on it, don't want to stop. Yeah, they, they're just running out of patience. They're sick of this. Team Falcons, you're going to be playing real passive? No worries. We're just going to start walking up. All of this starting because they won their individual lanes. Kyrie's making big money moves, man. He just picked up the Blade of Despair. <laughs> That's it. Even Super's going to feel it despite his passive on the Tigreal. Despite building a Dominus Ice, might be too little too late. Fnatic Onyx are looking at about 6,000 gold ahead. I'm thinking, all right, two, two, and three okay. on good night. Mm -hmm. Could they maybe win underneath turret? Because look, 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 what does he have on him now? Just the gl <sighs> Gideon, just the glowing wand. Yeah, it's really not enough here. And it looks like he's, he, he might just diversify, right? Yeah, is he splitting between an HC and... I don't think so. I think he just wants just a little bit of mana regen, That's right? That's a little I, greedy, though. It, I think the greedy thing would be going, oh, would be going for the Holy Crystal, but we do just see him purchase the Blood Wings. He needs that really bad. That shield is so important. Now he's going to start building into that Holy Crystal to have some relevant damage, but for the time being, I think the power spikes are just not in their favor, right? We are, we're even seeing CW. He's also got a Holy Crystal. Yeah, we got, he's in a position to do that. Uh, that is uh, disposable income, which we call it. <laughs> uh, but right now, check it out. Lord taken here by Fnatic Onyx, no question. Mm -hmm. Blitzed it. And wow, look, when the cat is away, the mouse goes to play. Team Falcons making a push down bottom, but uh, just as they should, they disperse. Oh. They, they they let go. That, that's dangerous. It's greedy. He keeps the game. Oh, that's the key, key boy. Oh, Wait, oh, he oh, didn't oh, see oh. it. He turns around. Wait, they don't notice. And then Locke walks out. He could have just stood still. Oh, man. Uh, now he's out of position. Gets hit by that's the wild it. charge. And another stack for Kyrie. That's a curious... Call. I'm so, did the wild charge not spot stop him or <sighs> spot him? Uh, did it stop right where he wasn't? I it's I mean it did cancel the recall essentially. It should have revealed him at that yeah. point in time. But here we go, the implosion down on the bot side of the map to find Kyrie. Not enough to get out of there. Nah. Wait, hold on. That's a shutdown. It could be an even bigger shutdown here if they get an inhibitor off of this, but Team Falcons should be able to regroup off of that play as the Lord is going to be crashing down from the top side. Yep. Uh, again, speaking as a fan of the hometown team here, the MPL Mana Champions, you got to say, hey, man, if they're going to win a fight, it's going to be inside their own base. Mm -hmm. Right? They have pretty good high ground, uh, and they're all here, but they are looking at a Lord, so that's a six-man coalition, a five-man coalition. Kyrie's off. Yeah. And... Let's keep in mind, right? They can still shut down these inhibitors. Wait, here comes the penalty zone almost instantaneously. They're trying to combo together, but they don't find anything else. The follow-up isn't there. They get rid of the inhibitor, and Team Falcon, oh! man, look, he's so tanky. He's holding on despite that, and CW is able to find a mega kill off of it. Despite the Glacier not finding the right targets, it forces Kenji to use the ult. Fnatic Onyx playing a little off kilter. When you thought the measure was 4-4, they say, nah, fam, it's a 3-4, and that takes Team Falcons off tempo. They shouldn't be forcing it, but here they are looking Ooh. for one. It was so close, but the implosion only finds one. They're going to get pulled back, but CW finds Super Kyrie already back into play. Team Falcons, they need to clear up these minions as soon as possible. Kenji almost going down in the meantime. Lark, he's the only person who actually has some decent wave clear. Even Good Knight, I don't think he has enough damage just yet. Final Slash coming in from Ding to maybe look for a pick back, but it's still 4v4 for the time being. Kyrie can join at any point of time, and that means the next inhibitor shot falls for Team Falcons. Their last bastion. No more turrets, just the base standing for Team Falcons. Can they do oh. it? Force that Tempest of Blades! Oh no. Such an early Tempest of Blades. Kenji, he's giving so much respect over to Kyrie, but at the very least, the minion waves have been cleared up, and Team Falcons, with no inhibitors, they're gonna be stuck in their base, turtling up as hard as they can. The Sky Kings play the disciplined game here, keeping to their timing. They're going for the next objective. They want to finish this game off of an enhanced Lord. Spawning about 10 seconds unless they can find a pick. Force in a brilliance from a good knight. Man, if you're talking about just the items and the, their firepower, Team Falcons can't take a fight. Not a fair fight against Fnatic Onyx. Honestly, I think it's really coming down to the fact that they're always reacting to Fnatic Onyx, right? They're going to use Fnatic Onyx. They're going to use that. They're going to... Go for a feint, wait for you to use your abilities and punish him. And that's oh. exactly what we see. Kenji goes down, doesn't even have the timing to drop down the Tempest of Blades.
that, that's that, that's got to be a play that even his teammates would question. You can see in the player cams, Kenji knows that wasn't the right call. Mm -hmm. That wasn't the right play, and he dove into three and four, paid the price for it, and Fnatic Onyx secures the Lord off of that pickoff. Yeah, he underestimated Kyrie, man. He, honestly, I think an alt, a single auto attack, he doesn't even need the special steel cables auto attack as well. He, he can basically one-shot Kenji. Yep, Kenji's back in about four. I'm not so sure, though, if this is a position that he wants to be in. Again, you're a Ling. One of your strengths is coming from any angle, coming in from a Finch poise. There's barely any walls inside the base, so he's going to have to play this very, very carefully. And he gets spotted from top. Very close. Kyrie throws out a cable. Oh, there's a final slash. Okay, straight away, CW is able to use the Purify. Zaman Force as well. Penalty zone into good night. They're trying to escalate the situation. He dies immediately off the brilliance. And now the crystal will fall. Fnatic on it. Take the game. 21 kills to seven. A clean sweep in a best of two by the Sky Kings. Even on home soil.